match day time at the Lanax once again. Uh, Plymouth travelling up on uh, on Saturday for uh, for the long journey um, north east. Is it a bit north east? I think so. And uh, a game that we're all looking forward to. Everybody likes uh, taking on the challenges of the sides at the top end of the league. Um, there's nothing better. These are the games that Steve and you have always been about. I think we turned over one 0 last time they came up when we got into the playoffs. Uh, big game, late goal from uh, Bruno Andrade that night, and uh, I think it really was a spur to us um, that got us into those playoffs um, in 2015. When I came uh, to Stevenage in 2008, I had a pre-season with my squad, so I got to know the lads, I got to work with the lads, I got to take them in my direction, and we started that league season with one win, two draws, and four losses in seven. Um, it was difficult. I was learning the players in match action, I was learning which changes to make, I was learning from game to game who could recover, who couldn't recover, which permutations in league action actually worked, which didn't, and uh, you know, that was the, the early consequence. That season uh, took a turn for the better after we added Darren Murphy. I remember Murphy coming in, I think we went on a, a club record unbeaten run, and uh, just one player sometimes can be the catalyst that changes everything. But we did go on that season to qualify for the playoffs. Uh, we did go on that season to win at Wembley in the FA Trophy. And uh, we progressed from that start to something that was really quite special. And it led on the following season for our promotion to the Football League. 2019 hasn't been a lot different. I haven't had the pre-season with the players to get to know them and, and to instil my ideas. But we've had one win, three draws, three losses in the league. And uh, we've had a couple of cup games alongside it with a win and a loss. But in the league, one win, three draws, three losses. The seven games have produced 0.86 points. Um, the statistician, I hear you say, yeah, okay, I'm allowed one every now and then. Um, that was against 0.76 points in the first 20 months. So we've made you know, a level of progression, not the one we'd all hope for, but we have brought in Dabo, we have brought in Cass, we have brought in Leesley and Jackson. We've got Sawsey, Luther, Stokesy coming back to fitness. So there's much more to select from, and the possibility of the Darren Murphy effect is starting to come onto the table. We saw the beginning of that last weekend with a great 4-0 away victory. I didn't get too carried away afterwards. I didn't think we were that good. Um, but we did take our chances. We did score some goals. And that was a real positive step in the right direction. Um, and everybody around the football club was enthusiastic about it. Going into the game tomorrow, um, we could kid ourselves, and we won, that we lost 2-1 down at Plymouth. Um, actually, we had 35% possession. We had eight shots, we had no corners, and we made 14 fouls. That was against their 65%, their 19 shots, their 13 corners, their 9 fouls. The result could easily have been 5 0. And we know that. We're realistic about that. We saw Mayer, we saw Sarsovic running all over us in the middle of the park. They caused problem after problem after problem. Not helped, we weren't, by Clark's movement off the back of our midfield and the indecision in our back line. We didn't quite know how we were going to handle it. The problems we had in midfield caused so many problems and created so many chances that you know, we came a big second on the day. We've moved on. We've brought new players in. Um, we will be putting a very different team on the pitch. We're much further down the evolution road and we will be better tomorrow. So we don't need to look backwards and take fear because we were beaten by the better side on the day. This is at our place. This is at Stevenage. And Stevenage knows how to play at Stevenage. Make no bones about it. And this is a very different Stevenage from the Stevenage that went down there at the back end of December. Looking at the league table, we've made some progression, but you can see just what the next three games can do for us. I'm a great believer. Always focus on the next game. Make the next game your everything. Build a belief around your ability to win the next game. But it's always nice to have a feeling for the next three games. It's always nice to know that in the next three games we could do something. I look forward to groups away and think tough place to go. I look forward to Lake Norrin at home and I think tough opposition to face. But I look at the three games and I think with the team that we've got, with the players we've got in the camp, with them being less fatigued by having you know, an easier week and less travel and more time to recover, can we expect a performance that can win game after game after game in the next three? And where might that take us? You look at the league table and you see Cambridge in 16th and you think you know, in the next three games, in the next eight to ten days, we could put ourselves above Cambridge, well, results depending, and that's what we're all focused on. Is it realistic that all the results are going to work out? It doesn't matter. With three wins, we could actually be above Cambridge in 16th. 
And you know, we played Cambridge last weekend, and you know, I think that we are capable of being a side that is better than Cambridge, and that the league position can reflect that. So that's our feeling. That's my mindset. I'm going into the game with a sense that there's a lot of hard work to be done over the next eight to ten days. Can we be in a place? 100% we can be in a better place. Finally. My message to everybody who is Stevenage is this. Unity has been a massive strength of this football club. Unity of voice has been a massive strength of this football club. I don't care whether that voice is demanding standards on a website, whether it is encouraging and reinforcing the confidence of our players on Twitter, whether it is a voice from the stands organising a player to spot that quick free kick they're about to take, or whether it's motivation drive energy being transmitted from the fans onto the pitch. This football club has got an intelligence, it's got a know-how, it's got a passion, it's got a togetherness, it's got a family spirit about it. And that family spirit has always translated into a stadium that produces winning performances. And I just want to remind people of that because sometimes when results haven't been great, when goals haven't been scored, the entertainment value's been down, you can forget the biggest strength at the heart of your club that makes you what you are. And Stevenage is together, Stevenage is a family, Stevenage does have a voice, that voice does all those things. It demands, it encourages, it supports, it motivates, it organises, and it's all those things that are the reason why we will go from strength to strength. In unity strength, let's enjoy Saturday.